From the very beginning, we had uh, something that was so outstanding and special that people fall in love with the car. My grandfather had a Golf, my father had a Golf, so I also had a Golf, and that's a long history with Golf and with Golf class. It's a truly unique automotive icon. There are only few. And uh, so it's always a challenge for every engineer, for every employee of Volkswagen to work in the Golf project and to bring that technologies to our customers. I'm, I'm really proud to be part of this project. On the way into a world that is no longer just about cars. It's more to it. We are entering a new world. Cars will be networks. It's a completely connected car. We are going more and more in the direction of a smartphone on wheels. Always connected, always on. The future of mobility. We are making it accessible. It's the car that brings innovations from the upper class to the golf class for everyone. So the golf is fully packed of driving assistance systems and safety systems. All the things that make life easier. We have a bigger screen, a 9.2 inch screen, which is the biggest screen we have in the car segment. Everything that makes life better. The first step in, uh, in a more autonomous driving environment. And above all, eco-friendly. With the new e-golf, we have about 50% more range now. The new TSI Evo engine suits excellent. We were able to make a next step for combustion engines. For all other customers, we have the GTE, which combines combustion engines and battery concepts in one car. Smart and irresistible. If you take the front in example, wide, characterful, strong. The whole car looks very edgy and sporty. So there's a lot more value in the car. Much more. We think new about a new experience of mobility. As a world premiere, in the compact class, we will introduce gesture controls. It's just the switch with the hand. Technology will become more human, sensitive and intuitive. Bringing the future to the road. This is Volkswagen. I think the Golf made a huge step. Ladies and gentlemen, also from my side, welcome in Wolfsburg. In Wolfsburg, I think this is the best place to present a new golf. There is no better place because it was here where the first golf ever was created. And it was here that all the seven generations of the golf have been successfully produced until today. And for me, this car, this golf is just the heart of Volkswagen. And for more than 40 years now, our engineers have been continuously enhancing and optimizing this car. The Golf is a class of its own and made innovations affordable for millions of people all over the world. And just to give you an example, to name just a few, think just of ABS, it was first here, airbags, first here for millions, and also ESC system. And today, yeah, with this nice car, we go on with this process. We put premium class technology in a compact class car. In a compact class car that even gave name to the Golf class. And this is a certain reason for that. Today, this upgraded car, this upgraded Golf here, is the first Golf with an automatic driving functions. It's the first Golf with a digital cockpit. It's the first Golf with a gesture control for the infotainment system, and also the first one with a permanent online connection. All that you find in this new generation. And, but before I start to go a little bit deeper uh, into some technical details on that car, let's start with a sharpened design. Of course, it's a challenge. It's a challenge for our designers, for Klaus Bischoff, to optimize this unique design DNA of a car, of a car like a Golf, with such a timeless and iconic design. So, what did they do? Klaus Bischoff and his team added some evolutionary enhancement and give more precision to, precision to that car. The team redesigned at the front, the whole front, you know, front bumpers, fenders, rear, uh, rear fenders, lights all over that car. And this car, for example, as we see here, shows the new full LED headlights and also the full LED taillights. Both are energy-saving and innovative as well. 
You may have seen that in the film also with the dynamic indicator. Ladies and gentlemen, innu innovative, yeah, I mentioned that. Innovative is the key characteristic also of this upgraded interior of the Golf. You know that the Golf is famous all over these seven generations we had for its ergonomic and intuitive concepts. I'll give you just two examples. The active info display with a 12-inch screen shows the important informations, all the important informations that you want. This digital cockpit includes the 3D navigation map for the first time. So you have the map where it belongs, directly in front of you, in front of the driver. It's like, more or less, uh, in, in good connection to my second example. The second example is the new top infotainment system, what we have. We call it Discover Pro. It's an, like an automotive tablet in that car. It has a home button, it has gesture control. With a simple gesture, you change radio station or your media track for the first time in the compact, compact class ever. So it's true, to my view, in the new Golf, the world of apps, of tablets and smartphones merges with the world of cars. Mirrorlink, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto from Google have been available at Volkswagen for more than two years now. Today, with the upgraded Golf, we're adding the online emergency call and more CarNet functions. Via this CarNet app, you're able to transfer destinations from your smartphone into your navigation system. You are able to use online traffic information you're also on, uh, able to use Google Earth, Google Maps, and Google Street View in that car. You're able to find the location of filling stations and also the price of the current fuel and that station. It's all via Carnet in that car. By the way, Carnet also remembers where you parked your car. Sometimes you may remember you should forget, or can't forget about that. I think these are just some examples of some useful, uh, useful functions for everyday life. We are used to that via smartphone, and we have that in our car as well. Useful for everyday life. I've got some other examples, because uh, we added some automated dri uh, driving functions in that Golf. My, f my personal favorite system in the Golf is the new Traffic Jam Assist, which takes, which takes command in those boring stop-and-go situations. I have them every day when I go from Braunschweig to Wolfsburg in the morning. At up to 60 kilometers per hour, this car steers, brakes, and also accelerates automatically. The only thing I have to do is to keep my hands on the steering wheel. The rest is done here. But the traffic jam is not the only one. We also added some emergency assist. Because things can happen as soon, so worse things can happen. So as soon as the sensors notice that for any reason, the driver is neither steering, braking, or accelerating, this emergency assist stops the Golf in a controlled manner and warns at once other road users. So traffic jam assist and emergency assist yeah, are up to date were premium class technologies. You now, here with the new Golf, they find their way down to the compact class. My last topic, ladies and gentlemen, for today is, for today is smart sustainability. Here, as you probably know, the Golf scores with numerous alternatives. Our plug-in hybrid, the GTE, drives up to 50 kilometers without any emission. The new e-Golf the new e yeah, will drives even more kilometers without any emission. Yeah, it's not 50, it's not 190, it will be up to 300 kilometers. We will unveil the new e-Golf next week in Los Angeles. But the most important fact is this 300 kilometers for me. Last but not least, we will be also using the new, very efficient 1.5 liter TSI engine with a cylinder deactivation as standard. Personally, I like the Blue Motion version of this engine. This has 130 horsepower. And the, from technical side, most important thing in there is that we realized a new kind of a coasting function. You probably know the function of this, the principle of that function. You lift up the throttle and the engine immediately switches to idle just to save fuel. Our aim, while we thought about that, is to deactivate in that phase the engine completely while coasting. To date, uh, this was not possible or it was only possible in hybrid models. The reason is 
that while you are stopping the engine, you still need electrical power, electrical power for electrical power steering and for the braking system. So what we did here in the Golf Blue Motion of the newest generation, uh, you see the first non-hybrid car to solve this technical problem. We use a very newly, a newly developed battery system for that function, for electrical steering, for braking and so on. The result in real life, real, real life consumption is impressive. Uh, it's reduced up to one liter. Yeah, the inf inf fuel efficiency is up to one liter better now with this engine and this technology. I think that, is, that can be called smart sustainability. And what you see here, this is affordable progress, assistance system, a fuel efficiency, everything, yeah, infotainment, affordable progress for all. And this is for me what a golf should be. And that is the new golf. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Volkswagen. Welcome to the world premiere of the new updated Golf. The Golf is the ultimate Volkswagen. It is a car for everyone and every situation, and the brand's most successful model ever. Since we launched Generation 7 in 2012, we have sold more than 3.2 million worldwide. Overall sales have topped the 33 million mark. I drive the Golf whenever I can. For me, it is the greatest and most innovative high-volume car in the world. And I think I'm not alone. The current generation has been recognized as Car of the Year, World Car of the Year, and North American Car of the Year, to name just a few of many, many awards. The story behind the Golf is quite simple. We make innovations, high quality, high resale value, fun to drive, and style available to millions. That's the essence of Volkswagen and our promise to all customers. The new Golf delivers on this promise like never before. We have sharpened the design, making it even more attractive. For instance, with the full LED taillights that has come as a standard now. However, the main focus is a completely new generation of infotainment and connectivity. The new Golf offers larger displays and gesture control, a fully digital cockpit, a wide range of new online services, and a semi-automated driving with the traffic jam assist and the trailer assist. We are also attaching great importance to safety features. A success story is the front assist. Based on radar sensors, the system recognizes critical situations automatically, breaks in an emergency. According to researchers, the number of accidents involving third parties has been almost halved thanks to this technology. The latest generation of the front assist will make our roads even safer. A new pedestrian monitoring avoids accidents by detecting pedestrians and their movement. That's the next step towards zero accidents. Of course, we have a special responsibility when it comes to our engines. We have developed a 1.5-liter TSI engine, which is powerful and highly efficient. The 130-horsepower engine uses up to one liter less fuel under real-world driving conditions than comparable engines. And our EU6 diesel engines are cleaner than those of most other manufacturers. This is confirmed by independent organizations. For us, diesel technology remains an important pillar for reducing CO2 emissions and achieving the climate goals. Ladies and gentlemen, this Golf always reflects the Volkswagen brand as a whole. 
And the new golf always stands for a new beginning, a new momentum. Obviously, our brand is facing some pretty big challenges. First and foremost, we have to regain people's trust. We are making good progress, working our way out of the crisis. Technical measures for more than 8.2 out of 10 million affected cars of the group have been approved by the authorities. We are strongly committed to gaining approval for all cars in Europe by the end of this year. 1.3 million cars already have been fixed and the number is rising significantly week by week. Customers are very satisfied with the fix. There are almost no complaints. Sales are recovering. The brand has been growing again since August. In October, deliveries increased by 4.4% compared to the previous year to 512,000 vehicles. I'm confident that we will see an overall increase in deliveries for 2016. And the brand's transformation is making progress too. We are becoming more competitive, more efficient and more innovative. We have established the product line organization within just six months. And I'm delighted to introduce Karl-Heinz Hell, one of our recently appointed product line managers. He should be somewhere around here. He can tell you more about the new structure and the new golf. For most of the worldwide regions, we have set up tough turnaround programs. They will start to pay off next year. With the presentation of the all-new Atlas, we have started the turnaround in the United States. We have presented the ID, our program for the future, and we are ready to take the next steps. The Zukunftspakt could become the biggest reform program in Volkswagen's history, making the brand much more competitive and future-proof. And the brand's new strategy will deliver a clear plan for the next decade. It will be our master plan for the new Volkswagen. More on that very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, Volkswagen is gaining momentum. In 2017, we will be presenting more than 10 new models and major updates. A new fastback will deliver on emotion, and the T-Rock will be the next step in our SUV offensive, to name just two of them. By 2020, we will have renewed our complete lineup, realizing the brand's greatest product offensive ever. Our golf here on stage makes or marks the beginning. Smarter, safer, and more connected. It will continue to define the compact class. I'm sure our customers will love to drive the new golf. Thank you very much. Thank you.